Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. What's on your mind? In his eyes, an our familiar longing, flecks of brown and gold. It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest, down the street that goes beyond the horizon. Excuse me? A flinch jolts his frame. The question has touched a nerve. Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's no helping in absence, you know? I miss my family. They're all I have, my wife, Second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit, so far from home. Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of Le Caillou, pretty much. On another island called Laurentide, off mainland. We've got a little place there. Can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing someone? Is that what it is? This feeling? No, it's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter, smelling of apricots and sorrow, and the past. I feel for you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. But, thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. Ah, oh, man. Me and narcotics go way back. Had some good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? But, those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Just be straight with him. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, ma'am. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Gotta guard the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo. And it gives me time to work on my rhymes. A rhyme smith? This is quite credible. It goes with its cadence and way of speaking. Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. of snow always reminds me of the purity of a man's soul, if he's got principles. Yes, the Debardieu's union pays me to stand with you during the night. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and money is tight. He feels like he has to justify himself for some reason. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, 
I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. It's a private matter. Nothing to do with your investigation. You see, officer, René is the kind of man would rather die than admit he needs medical assistance or, God forbid, seek it. A real man's man is just gonna ride it out. I'm fine, goddammit. Mind your own business. <laughs> it's nothing. Just got to cut back on coffee. No one. The bus has been on man since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday? Yes. It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officer. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before, René. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Evrard created this job for René because he knows the Royal Carabiner's pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Oh, I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. I do it too. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of my guard boost now? He is not going to become an entrepreneur. She? Is nobody. This is none of your concern. And I refuse to discuss my private affairs with the RCM. The lady is Jeanne-Marie Beaulieu, and she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. Yes, yes. Uh, like I said, it would be up anyway, so might as well keep an eye out. It keeps my senses sharp. <laughs> yes, hello? Me? 
No one. I'm just a working class woman. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working? Not all the time. Right now I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. It is. I know you are. What with? This citizen thinks she can do without your assistance. Don't buy it. They all need help. Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with yellow. It seems like she has spent a lot of time at work, smoking. My husband? No, he's not. I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? Where is this going, officer? Yes, but... I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. No. Of course he's not. It's not like he's a pocket watch. I wouldn't just lose him. She has, though. The husband is totally lost. You should tell her that it's okay. What? Who said anything about shame? Stop talking down to me. My husband is not missing. But he is. You can feel it. Or maybe it's something else then. No, absolutely not. Are you a policeman or a nanny? They are not missing, sir. You know where they are. They're at home. Smoking. Giving the ladder of vices a chance. Mm -hmm, I see. Thanks. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. For what it's worth, I agree. But cockatoos can't be stopped when they get ladies. It's better to indulge him at this point. I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. Great. Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book in the bookstore. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Or your heraldic bird? Wonderful. The store is open. The woman before you nods and returns to her reading. This must be it. The basement door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. The leather upholstery is worn and rough against your jaw. You don't hear any movement. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard around you. No birds chirp. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a bit of rattling of the handle to loosen the bolt. Finally, the door unlocks with a small clack. 
thoughts race through your head. Well, buddy, you opened it. No need to go inside. It would be rude. Only curiosity could account for stepping over that threshold. Maybe there's treasure in there. A white alligator. A fountain of quicksilver. Master Investigator, you just can't keep yourself away from locked and hidden places, can you? Attaboy, the world's secrets were made for you. They wait patiently for you to uncover them. This is the flag of Rivershaw, the suzerainty. This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Rivershaw got its flag. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. The flag doesn't seem to mind. It's just a colorful fabric with a sun sewn onto it. Like all feudal flags, it looks like a children's drawing. sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. The images betray a lack of interest in human beings. They are merely unflattering caricatures. The owner of these mugs doesn't like people of other ethnicities very much. Anytime, the lieutenant picks up one of the mugs, then puts it back down with a look of disdain. I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. Yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same humor, the same mocking lines. There's the missing tin soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the whirling's container to dump his trash. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. The plot thickens, as they say. An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. Perhaps you should break into apartments more often. Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this close-in-the-trash lead either way. It might turn out to be some random local matter. But still, a nice coincidence. 